In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five ideas infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see I've created this bulk completely in PowerPoint where you can add the option number here, the title and the detailed text. And I've created some shadow effect also with the reflection. And when I click the second bulb will come the second idea you can see with the different color combination then the third fourth and fifth and then this is connected with a line so for this slide I've created a four uh, sorry five options and another slide I've created where I've just created only the four options you can see the first second third and fourth so depending on the requirement you can choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section and i've used office 2019 version to do this one and you need a uh, merge shapes to do it if you're using the older version like 2010 and 2007 then uh, it is uh, difficult for you to do it because the merge shapes are not available in that one so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to draw the bulb shape first for that let me just go to view enable the guides and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape just click it here and make the height and width as 2.75 and then shape outline is no outline and then i'm just going to put it exactly in the center you can see here i've just put it in the center then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d you can see here and then this shape i'm just going to change from the circle to a rounded corner rectangle so go to the shape format edit shape change shape i'm just going to select the rounded corner rectangle you can see here let me just give some different color and i want to give us uh, some a uh, transparency look so that you know exactly what we are trying to do and i'm just going to you can see the small orange point i'm just going to drag it inside so it should look something like this not a circle and not a rectangle so something in between and then i'm just going to attach it and if you want you can just move it here and make sure that it has to attach with this blue circle otherwise our bulb design will not come and if not if, if it is you are not sure that make sure that it is touching and then press ctrl d to duplicate or if you want you can just move it aside and move it on the top also something like this you can see it is touching here let me just do like this and press ctrl d and bring the other side also and make sure that it is again touching this then go to insert shape select one rectangle so till here i want to cut it okay so this area and shape outline make it no outline and then i'm just going to cover with one rectangle draw a rectangle you can see here something like this shape outline no outline let me just make it some transparent so we end up uh, designing something like this okay i've just put the shape now out of this what i'm going to do is i want to uh, bring out the the bulb shape how we have to do this one first of all select all by pressing ctrl a you can see here and then go to the shape format merge shape just say fragment okay once you do the fragment i'm just going to delete this part this 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 one and this one you can see here and then i'm just going to select all of this go to shape format merge shape union and remove the transparency so we end up getting a shape something like this now let's draw the base of the bulb let me just zoom in so that you know exactly what we are trying to do then go to insert shapes and from the rectangles i'm going to select the rectangle top corner surrounded uh, draw a smaller one you know should not be the equal size a little bit smaller you can see here and here this one i can just make it something like this and then here i'm just going to bend it a little bit and then reduce the size okay and then i'm just going to put it here if you want you can just reduce the size further and make sure that it is 
align center and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some light color and later on we are going to give some gradient fill now i'm just going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate and make it fully curved something like this you can see here and then i'm just going to give some gap here in between if you want you can just reduce the width also this is somewhat okay so you can see here okay let me just put the same width then one more so you can i've got four and then one base i'm going to draw go to insert shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid and shape rotate i can just rotate you can see here i'm just rotating flip vertical and give it more something like this shape outline make it no outline give the same color and just add something like this okay and then in between i'm just going to add some darker color so a little bit smaller you can see here there should be some gap again make sure it is center aligned shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some darker color you can see here and then send this to back press ctrl d i'm just going to do the same thing or you can just add one rectangle also that is also very easy to do it and then i'm just selecting all of this and then send this to back and here i have to just reduce the size so that it should not be visible all right and then if you want to add one base also you can just add it by pressing ctrl d you can see here red let me just make it somewhat darker color reduce the size you can see here that's it so uh, the shape of the bulb is ready now it's time to give some gradient fill for this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this the gray color only and if you want you can just group it ctrl g to group it and give the gradient fill and i'm going to use uh, different color combinations so first of all i'm going to select this one i'm going to select a black color and here the direction let me just select this one and then i want to use some lighter color you can see here again here somewhat lighter and then i want to use some dark color here and again let me just increase the size and one more the same color i'm going to choose it dark color and then here i'm going to choose a white you can see here uh, something like this and this color also you can just change to somewhat darker color so we end up getting a shape something like this you can see here all right so the design of the bulb is ready now for the time to give a different gradient fill for this also select the gradient fill and all of this i'm just going to delete it and i'm going to keep it only two so one color i'm just going to give some lighter color so we can go to more colors maybe i'm just using some lighter color here you can see and this side i'm going to use the darker color something like this and then you can just change the direction or if you want you can just make it to radial and then i'm just going to choose maybe this one or i can just choose this also whichever way you feel better you can just choose it and then let me just give some glowing effect add an oval shape here on the top of the bulb maybe this much size shape outline no outline shape fill make it white increase the transparency you can see here maybe 50 or 60 percent then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here some and you can just increase the size and you got some kind of uh, a glossy effect here you can see here so once this is done what you can do is let me just reduce the size of the this one i can just select all press ctrl g to group it 
then go to the effects you can go to the reflection and i'm going to choose maybe this reflection you can see here then hold the shift key you can just reduce the size and then place it here this is the first bulb press ctrl d this is the second bulb so depending on your requirement you need three or four bulbs so you can just add it i'm going to add only four bulbs in this case and then i'm just adding the fourth bulb here you can see here and if this is if you want to connect this one you can just go to insert shapes you can use this particular freeform shape from this end i'm just going to click here click here and double click here and increase the width you can see here and color i'm going to give some gray color and increase the transparency level and then send this to back okay and then it's time to just change the color of each bulb so depending on the requirement i can just choose any color of my choice maybe some dark blue or uh, sorry this one i have to be I have to choose some light color and here I'm just going to choose some dark color okay so like this you can just choose any color of your choice so if you want I can use some a darker orange let me just choose some light orange this side the other side I have to choose the dark orange color all right so you can see here and for this maybe you can choose some purple so some first of all the light color and here i'm just going to choose some darker color all right so you can see here with this our basic design is ready now it's time to add the text and some uh, options here and if you like to add some shadow effect also you can add it but let me just go to insert now and add some text boxes here and this is the option 01 choose any good font i'm just going to choose roboto make it bold white font center align increase the size maybe to 36 and then go to insert or i can just duplicate this press ctrl d and this is the title reduce the size you can see here uh, this is the title or if you want you can increase it a little bit make sure it is uh, center aligned and then go to insert text box I'm just going to type equals L-O-R-E-M within bracket 1 and I don't want this much long text I'm just going to cut short it reduce the size the same font I'm going to choose reduce the size center align and put it here and this color also I'm going to make it white now what I'm going to do I'm just going to select all these three press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and then i'm just going to place it here one by one press ctrl d and this also i'm just going to keep it here now it's time to change the text and that's it so that's the design uh, we have completed and if you want to give some a gradient background also you can just give it for example you can just select any gradient background one background i'm going to choose some white color and other one i'm just going to choose some light gray color and maybe i'm going to choose linear and i'm just going to put it something like this you can see here so the color also change now it's again if you want you can add more bulbs you want to change the color it's up to you and you can add some little bit of animation like for example i'm just going to add an animation let me just go to the animation pane enable the animation pane add animation i'm just going to say fly in fly in first of all this also i need to group it Control g you can see here i'm just selecting both and group it okay and then i'm just going to say fly in fly in sorry fly in and i have to make it from top 
okay so it comes something like this double click maybe you can give some bounds and and click okay so it comes something like this okay and then animation painter double click click on this one this one and this one and for this i'm going to use some wipe effect wipe effect say from left so it goes something like this and this should happen after previous so if i play on the slideshow you can see a first second third fourth and then it gets connected 